Welcome to Sketch Saturday, everyone. I'm so glad to see you here today because every weekend, we've been exploring new characters to draw using our pencils. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a portrait of Tony Stark from the Avengers. But before we begin, I want to provide three tips that will hopefully help you throughout this lesson. So the first thing is that I want you to work at your own pace. If at any point I'm going too fast, I encourage you to pause the video and give yourself time to get caught up. Everyone works at a different pace, so giving yourself enough time will yield better results. The second tip is that you should never give up. Sketching is a skill that takes time to build, and I've been doing this for a very long time. So if you really want to improve that skill, then join me every Saturday where I'll be walking you through some new techniques. And finally, this is probably the most important tip. Drawing always begins with observation. The more you can train your eyes and mind to look at all the little details in your subject, the better the results will be. So let's jump into today's lesson with how to draw Tony Stark from the Avengers. Now for this lesson, I'm going to be using a dark 6B pencil. I always like to start my drawings by sketching a large circle in the center of my page to define the size of the head. So let's start at the very top. I'm going to use a side grip using the flat edge of my pencil. I'm just going to lightly sketch out the left side of our circle. And come down towards the bottom. And then work in the right side. And I find it's a lot easier to use these short lines to create our circle because you can always go back and just readjust the shape. Now let's start adding some guidelines. I'm going to sketch a line coming down the center of our circle. Starting from the very top, we go all the way up to the top of our page. And draw that line coming all the way down towards us, towards the bottom of our page. We're also going to add a guideline on the outside of our circle. So let's start with the left. We're going to extend this all the way up to the top and come all the way down towards the bottom. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And I'm also going to add guidelines going across our page from left to right along the center of our circle, along the top and the bottom. So extend this all the way out towards the side. And then the top and bottom. Now you don't want to go too dark here because we're eventually going to be erasing these out. Now with this portrait, we're going to rotate the character's head down, so the eyes are going to sit along the bottom of our circle. So let's step up from the bottom line, just sketch out a line going across from left to right, somewhere around here. And then we're going to mark off the inside corners of the eye. From that center line, we're going to step over towards the left, just sketch a line coming down to right about there. Go over to the right and do the same thing. Now with portrait illustrations, I always find it easier to start from the inside and then work our way out. So let's start with the upper eyelid. We we'll start on the left side, we're going to step out, just curve the eyelid coming in and then down towards that inside line. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And we'll tuck the iris underneath the eyelid. So we're going to start at the very top and draw a half circle coming down and then back up towards that line. And we'll do the same thing on the right, just a small half circle. And then we're going to bend down the side of the eyelid, starting back on the left at the very top of the iris. We're going to curve out and then down toward the side of the circle. Now the lower eyelid is going to come down underneath the iris. So let's start back on the left. I'm just going to curve down and then back up towards that line. So we have a little bit of an overlap on the outside of the eyelid. Now with the side edge of our pencil, we're going to lightly shade in the iris. We don't want to go too dark here. We're going to add some highlights eventually. Now we're going to go in and block in the eyebrows. Starting back on the inside corner of the eye, we're going to curve up and then out, just above the eyes. And then we'll draw a straight line going out towards the outside edge of the eyebrows. And then from the outside, I'm just going to curve down and in towards that eye line. And then again, using the side edge of our pencil, we're going to lightly shade in the eyebrows. Let's add a fold along the inside edge of the eye. Starting from the left side, I'm just going to curve down and then out towards that bottom line.
Now to locate the tip of the nose, I'm just going to estimate it's going to be somewhere around here, just underneath this line. So right here, I'm just going to draw a line going across from left to right. And then from the bottom, we're going to sketch out a circle for the tip of the nose. Just going out towards the side, up towards the top, and then back down towards the bottom. Now this represents the tip of the nose, and we're going to add the nostrils in after. And then from the side of the circle, we're going to angle up and out with a short line towards the outside edge of the nostrils. And then from the outside, we'll curve up and just bend that in. Now from the tip of the nose, we're going to step down and just mark off the mouth, somewhere around here. From the center, we're going to curve up and out towards the left, and then the right. And we'll draw a short line going out towards the corners of the mouth. Now the mustache is going to curve around the corners of the mouth. So let's start back on the left and draw a short curve going out and then down along the sides. And then for the side of the nose on the left, we're going to curve out the mustache and then just pull that down towards the bottom. Let's go in and lightly shade in the mustache. Let's go back over towards the left side and draw on the bottom lip. We're just going to curve down in the middle and then round this out and then pull that back up on the right. And we're going to add a smile line along the side of the nose coming down towards the corner of the mouth. So let's start on the left. We're going to curve out and then just pull that down beside the corner of the mouth on both sides. Now that we've drawn the basic elements of the face, we're going to move down and draw on the chin. So from the bottom lip, we'll step down to somewhere around here. It's going to draw a line going across the middle. And then from here, we're going to curve out and up towards the left, just beside the corner of the mouth. Almost like drawing a half circle. And we'll go up on the right side. And then going back to the top, we're going to define the cheekbones. Going up and just bending that out. Let's block in the goatee. Starting over on the left side underneath the lip, we're going to angle down and in towards the middle. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from the bottom, we'll curve down and then out towards the outside of the chin. Let's go in and lightly shade the goatee. Now we're going to work our way out towards the side of the head. From the side of the chin, we're going to angle up and out towards the jaw. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And from here, we're going to draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the outside of the circle. Now let's move up to the top and start adding in the hairline. We're going to start over on the left side. Start with a straight line coming in. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then from here, we're going to go straight up past that center line to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And then from the top, we're going to curve in and then down toward that center line. So we'll start by coming straight in, and then we'll bend that down. Now the circle that we created at the beginning is a representation of the skull. So the hair is going to sit along the outside. So let's start on the left side of that circle and brush the hair over towards the right. So starting here, it's going to sketch a curve going up and in toward that center line. And then from here, we're going to curve out and then down towards this point. And from the center, we're going to step over towards the left, curve out and down towards the point on the left side. And then from the side, we're going to curve the hair going out and then back in towards this line that we created at the beginning. Going out and then bending that back in. Let's add in the side edge of the ears. Starting from this line, we're going to angle down and out towards the left with a short line. And then from here, we're just going to curve down and then in towards that bottom line. Once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, I'm going to go back in with my eraser and take out some of these initial guidelines.
I'm also going to take out that circle. Now at this point, our drawing should look like a very generic looking face. So I'm going to go in with the tip of my pencil and start adding some details. I'm going to start with the eyes. Let's start with the upper eyelid on the left. Then we'll move over towards the right and just balance this out. And then we'll go in and trace out the iris. Now inside the iris, we're going to add a highlight along the top and the bottom. So let's start on the top right side. I'm just going to sketch out a circle. We'll do the same thing on the right. And then along the bottom of the iris, we're going to add a curve, going up the middle and then back down on the inside. And then we'll go in and darken the inside of the iris, working our way around the highlights. I'm also going to add a light shade on the right side of that bottom highlight and then just fade that out as we go towards the left. And now we'll go in and trace out the bottom of the eyelid. I'm just going to curl down the inside of the tear duct and blend that up. and then we'll lightly shade in the tear duct on the inside corner of the eyes. Now the upper eyelid is going to cast a slight shadow along the top of the eyes. Let's start on the left. I'm just going to lightly shade this out and then blend it out as we come down. Do the same thing on the right. Now the bottom row of lash should just sit on the outside of that lower eyelid. So we're going to step out, slightly sketch a line going across the bottom and then back up on the inside. And then from that line, we're just going to pull some eyelashes coming down, just lightly spacing these out. And a few short ones along the way, and then just taper that out as we go in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to move up and start adding some shape to the eyebrows. Let's start on the outside. Now this sits just up above the eyelid. I'm going to cross and then just pull that down on the inside. And just curl it up on the outside. We're just going to add a little fold on top of the eyelid. Just pulling out from underneath the eyebrow. And then the bottom edge of the eyebrow is going to curl around the inside corner of the eyes. So we'll come in. And then just bend that back out. And then we'll add some shape to the upper eyebrow.
Now we're going to darken up the eyebrows, but we're going to brush our pencil going up and out. So let's start on the inside. Just sketching going up and then out. Starting off dark along the bottom edge and just feathering that out towards the top. We'll lightly shade in the upper eyelid. Now we're going to add a crease along the inside of the brow. Starting on the left, we're just going to curve up very lightly, up in the middle, and then back down on the right side. And we'll add a light crease going up on the right side. Just pulling a line going up. Now from the inside corner of the eyes, we're going to work our way down towards the tip of the nose. So let's start on the left. We're just going to curve in and then down towards the top of that circle that we created for the nose. And then we'll lightly shade this area in the center of the nose bridge. We'll also add some shadow to the tip of the nose. Now let's start adding some detail around the nose. Starting with the tip, start with a straight line going across. Let's bend out the bottom edge of the nostril and then curve that back up and in. Now we're going to move down and draw the edge of the mouth. Starting from the center, it's going to work our way out and up towards the left and right side. Go out and then down. Now we want to create a thin gap between the mouth and the bottom edge of the mustache. So I'm going to step up and just trace that mouth out going across, down in the middle, up on the right, and then back down. And then we'll add some detail to the mustache. Start to pull that up and in behind the nose. And do the same thing on the right. And then we'll go in and fill in the mustache. Now we want to add a little bit of texture along the bottom edge of the mustache. So we're just going to pull these lines a little bit further down from that line. And I'll retrace these lines we have along the inside of the cheek. Let's continue tracing out the lower lip and add some shade. with the shadow along the bottom lip. We're just going to start off a little bit darker along the top and then just taper that out. Now at this point, I want you to work at your own pace and start adding some detail to the chin and then the jaw. Let's start with the beard.
Now with most of my sketches, I always like to imagine that the light's coming from the top down and casting a shadow along the bottom edge of the head. But in this case, we're going to point the light going the opposite direction, so the highlights are going to sit along the bottom edge. And then we'll add a darker shadow along the top of the forehead and just feather it out as it come down. And with the side edge of my pencil, I'm going to start adding some texture to the hair, starting right in the middle. And then just working away towards the opposite side.
Now, after we're done adding some detail and shading to the head, we're going to move down and draw on the armored shoulders. And then a few more touch-ups and adding a drop shadow in behind the head. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Tony Stark. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe. And join me every week for Sketch Saturday. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.